Jay, we're standing uh, with Purnell. Uh, success on Saturday. He's obviously been a, a great horse to the stable. Recently crowned uh, Gold Coast Horse of the Year as well. Uh, tell us uh, a little bit about him and, and the process of uh, the double on Saturday. Uh, yeah, well, we got him off uh, Inglis for 20000 and And um, took me a while to, to get him right. Um, I took a full prep to get, it, get a winner with him. And then we put him out for a break and well-deserved break. And he just come back stronger and and he's just yeah gone on with the job yeah got horse of the year and yeah he's the favorite in the stable for sure yeah, yeah. he looks a bit of a character <laughs> yeah yeah he's giving me a nip. he loves giving a nip he never bite you hard yeah but it's just all play like yeah. he's got he's the most beautiful natured horse i've ever had anything to do with he's he's definitely a favorite in the stable everyone loves him and out in the track you can put young girls on him and he just goes around just doesn't put a foot wrong the 20,000 seems a pretty cheap buy now. Yeah, yeah, well, I think we've won nearly 100 with him now. Really? So, yeah, so, yeah, he's done a really good job for us, and, and I don't think he's finished yet. I think he can win a few more, so. As we said earlier, you got a double. Mashani Supreme looked a, a horse that was going to win a maiden for some time. The, yeah. the stars aligned for you on Saturday with him. Yeah, she's been real frustrating. She's got all the ability in the world. Um, she's just so green, just... Um, She's still learning the caper and, uh, yeah, Jai give her a peach ride on Saturday and, yeah, got the money and that'll give her a lot of confidence moving forward. So, yeah, she's a nice horse. Speaking of Jai, you must have been thrilled to see his success on Saturday. Five winners. We only recently saw it. You, you think it's so hard to achieve, but we only recently saw it with Bailey Wheeler and yep. then Jai was able to, to get that feat. You must be proud of his efforts. Yeah, I'm really proud of him. He's... He's had to do a lot of hard work to, to get to where he's got to. Um, and he's turned up every morning, he's, he's there, he's riding them and he's doing all the hard yards. And he had to just um, just keep his head down, his ass up and he's done that. And he's always had the ability. He's, that, that hasn't been his problem. He's always, I've known him since he was 15 and out in that track and he's, he's always had the ability that's not uh, that's not an issue but he just had to do the hard work and he's done that and now he's getting the rewards tell us about the transition from harness racing to the gallops you you were obviously in that code for for a number of years and and tell us a bit about that yeah well i've i got my license um to drive trotters when i was 16. yep won my first race when i was 16 and um just that's all i ever want to do is drive i didn't even think about training and um, my mum, she's a great trainer, taught me a lot. Uh, as soon as I hit 18, I said, oh, I actually want to get a horse, I want to train one. And um, my focus slowly started moving to training. And um, yeah, I just love training, I always have. Um, I've always loved the horse, that's why I'm in it. And um, yeah, just slowly, slowly come about training with them and one of them was pretty successful there. And then just had enough of it. I was doing it for, since I was 16 and I just said, oh, I need a change. So I got into the real life, I call it, yeah. <laughs> Get, having a real job. Yep. And um, did that for about eight years and just I, something was missing. Like I went to all the solar farms, was successful there. And, yep. Um, and then, yeah, just wasn't happy and I, it was the horses. So I said, oh, I'm going to give galloping a go. Tra I like gal training gallopers. I've always, always followed them ever since I was young as well. I've always had interest in it. Um, yeah, and just thought you only live once I'll give it a go and I, for four years I went around to different trainers like Johnny Smerton learned a lot off him he's a good old horseman uh, yeah, Les Kelly yeah. Les Kelly learned so much off him as well um, they were super to me they just they just anything I asked they told me and just helped me whenever I whenever they could and like I said from my trotting background I always knew how to get a horse fit and healthy and all that side of things I just had to get used to all the galloping side with the, the distances, yep. the tracks and, and all, all that stuff. So yeah, that they really helped me with all that and conditioning them to like, they're obviously different to the trotters. Yeah. You can't work them as hard. And, but yeah, they taught me all conditioning about the horses and yeah, really helped me. That's yeah. the thing with the, with the harness side of things. It's very one dimensional. It's, you yeah. know, they work, they race, you yeah. know, sometimes twice a week. Yeah, um, twice a week. You know, yeah. getting getting your sort of head around the, the gallop process, but obviously you you're really enjoying that, and the success is starting to to come through because you you know yeah. getting getting the real hang of it now too. Yeah, yeah, just learning all the time. Like, um, just each horse you get, you you learn something about different about them, and um, stop fighting. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> uh, yeah, just 
like this so yeah they're just every horse i've got like i've learned something off and just moving forward i've just kept learning and like you never you never know everything if you think you do you that's where you're going to stop so yeah just just loving it at the moment just like when i started i was just like I just want to be happy training horses and living, yep. and I'll be happy. Yep. So now I'm up to 13 horses, and yeah, just been getting a bit of success, and yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Jay. Cheers, mate. Thanks.